Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Doke on Battle video, and today we're going to have some Kefla fun. Uh, we're going to head into this Zero Mortals plan fight where we have the basically unkillable Zamasu, so we can just play around in here a little bit. Um, but the plan is, is I want to have STR Kefla linked up with Tech Kefla just to see like how much they can do or like what their stats are looking like when they are fully linked up together. Now, Tech Cal and Khalifla, they were actually pretty solid on release. They're a defense stacking unit, which I do like that. Um, but they have been power crept a ton to the point where they're just going to get blown up in like red zone. Unless you can stack them for like 20, 30 turns or something, right? But that's not realistic. Um, and fights tend to go pretty quick to the point where you might not even see Kefla. They were actually, they were actually one of the better units in very early red zone when red zone first dropped. Because they get a heal when you transform into Kefla. And that was actually really good for some older red zone fights when it first came out. Because we didn't have like a large, like strong roster of units to be using. Um, but yeah, now they're pretty much unrunnable, right? So we are going to run them here. Um, they are going to get, you know, blown up for some damage. But we can use items if we need to. Um, I really, once again, this is just out of curiosity. I want to see... You know, in their best situation, how good is, you know, STR Kefla with a perfect linking partner? And actually, how how good is Tech Kefla right now, right? Like, <laughs> maybe she'll surprise me. Maybe she actually is runnable. I don't know. Here goes Tech Khalifla at about a 5 mil attack stat. Sure, we'll take it. Uh, you know, if you're going to 100% dodge, you can hit as low as you want, right? <laughs> we are all good with that. All right, so here is Tech, Kale, and Khalifa. I mean, they link up really good with Kale. They were getting six out of seven already, which is very good. Uh, so we're going to leave STR, Kale, in slot one. We're going to float Tech, Kale, and Khalifa to get them on rotation with Kefla. Uh, rotations end up being not crazy here. We I don't know what it is, but this game loves giving me Kefla slot seven, so I just don't even get to see her base form. So it is what it is. So, you know, STR, Kale, really nice tank right there. We'll take it. We'll take it, we'll take it, and we just got to get past this first phase, which Kale might just do it herself, which is fine. We'll take the defense stacks here. Now, Tech, Kale, and Khalifa, they're not, yeah. They're not going to get a chance to defense stack there, right? But that's okay. <laughs> they're pretty, they would need to stack a lot to be relevant, I think, even in this fight defensively. So here comes STR Kefla once again, just opening it up in Super Saiyan form because she wanted to be in slot seven. Um, I think we'll link her with Kale here. And then we got our seven orbs. Yeah, I'm finding, you know, with Vados floating around, like we're always we're always getting the six orbs Kefla needs, man. They they just did her kit so well. Well, you know, her thing was really annoying originally because you needed like six just to get the dodge. But now the dodge is really easy. And then if you get the six, you just get the extra damage. But if you mix the six, you know, if you don't get all six, it's okay. Like she can still dodge and like live. So yeah, very good. So there you go. There she's going. She's doing multiple like 15 mil attack stats her first turn. Normally, she's actually hitting harder than this uh, when she goes Super Saiyan, but she hasn't had a turn yet to stack any attack. So this is what you're going to get turn one with her. But yeah, with all these supers, man, her attack does build up fast. And then uh, AGL Kale here doing her thing. Yeah, most of the time, like, units that stack attack, like, you usually don't notice it that strongly, but, like, this Kefla, like, you you feel it. <laughs> I think the reason why you feel it is because she's also transforming and getting a bunch of stats, so, like, you just feel the buffs every new turn she comes out. Her attack just goes up and up and up. Um, I would say STR Videl is another unit where you really feel the attack stacking, and um, she's going to be a really exciting EZA when she drops, which could literally be any time, because Videl came out... Uh, around the same time as Kefla. I think they were pretty close releases together. Um, STR Videl, though, I think if they just make her a monster, like hitting like, you know, 10, 15, 20 mil attack stats, all the additionals, keep stacking, make her a little bit better defensively. I don't know. Videl could be really fun. Um, and, you know, with the whole Android 21 stuff, I mean, there's definitely like some nice Peppy Gal units out there. There definitely are. All right. Well... We've got our Kale and Khalifas together. <clears throat> um, we'll just leave Tech Khalifa in slot one because she's just going to auto-dodge everything. So why wouldn't you do that? And then Kale in slot two. 
I, you know, STR Kale definitely can work in slot one. She just has to have stacked her defense enough. But with guard, you can be a slot one unit. Um, but I like running her on rotation with Tech Khalifla. So Tech Khalifla, like, is pretty much automatically always going to be in slot one. Um, unless there are way more attacks coming in the other slots. And then this way, it guarantees Kale will get more defensive stacking in before she takes on any damage. So this is just a really nice wombo combo rotation. It's pretty rare that, like... I would prominently feature like normal banner units as a rotation, but this is an instance where like I do prefer to just run these two as a rotation. They are just so good together. They share like what six out of seven links. Um, they each have a part of their kit that requires the same, you know, the opposite named character. So they just help each other out so much. Um, but we'll see as we get more universe six buffs, like that may change. Because like Tech Khalifla. Like, she wants to be on rotation with the Kale. Well, if you were, you know, featuring AGL Kale on both rotations, you definitely can float Tech Khalifla, and she's always going to have what she needs because you're always going to have a Kale on rotation. It's not that Tech Khalifla is a bad floating unit because she's a great floating unit. It's just she's so good that you kind of want to keep her on rotation <clears throat> just to always have a slot one that just can't be touched, right? It's just she's kind of more valuable on rotation. She's like... One of these examples of a unit that isn't like a big time damaging unit that you actually do want on rotation just to be a slot one tank. Kind of like um, Aider. Aider is another example of that. Is like he fits more the mold of a floating unit, but you actually want to run him on rotation because he needs the Kid Goku and he's going to tank out everything in slot one. Uh, very similar with him, right? All right, let's see what Kefla's got here. So yeah, she's taking 50k normal, so not great. Uh, we need a dodge here, and <laughs> we get it, thank goodness. The dodge is what saves her, so 17 million. Now keep in mind, she's not linking the craziest yet, um, because we got a lot of these you know, Super Saiyan and specific fusion links that come after we turn into uh, Super Saiyan Fuse Kefla, right? So we gotta wait for Kale and Khalifla to actually fuse, um, and then we're gonna get some more links there. I think they're gonna fuse on the next turn. I do think Tech Kale and Khalifla, one of the things I do want to see with their EZA is to make the transformation faster. And I would like her to continue stacking defense transformed. I do hope they give her that. Because um, it's one of those units where like you kind of want to keep them in base because they just stack defense. And then you would just transform at the very end. But I want them to hit their EZA so that you can just transform them right away and like want to do that. All right, so three mil for them. Definitely not the craziest. <laughs> Only did 9K. <laughs> like, so weak. Because uh, they were tight disadvantage there, right? All right, but we're almost there. And we're going to have the nice double Kefla rotation. We're definitely going to take our time and take a few turns. Let's see how much we can blast away here at this Insamasu. All right, this is going to be a nice turn for Cal and Khalifa with Vados floating around. It's only 20% support, but Vados is too good not to run. Like, she's really good with her dodge and her orb changing, her support. Uh, she's just got it all. She's pretty good. The only thing she needs is a scouter. Then she'd be like, Chi-Lai. <laughs> It'd be ridiculous. I wish they made a Chi-Lai that fit on every team, or Chi-Lai just worked on every team. Like, chi is so good. She's a unit that's never going to need an EZA. Like, she'll get one at some point, but she literally never needs it. Um, you know, when you've got all of that support stuff that just doesn't age and 70% chance to dodge, which doesn't age, like, she's just so good. She does, like, no damage and nobody cares because she has all the support you want. Here's Kale at 8.5 million. Uh, her defense should be getting pretty beefy right now. Yeah, she's not going to take anything from this. Yeah, double digits. We're good. Here comes Vados at 3 mil. And dodging like she's supposed to. Yes, that is what you are supposed to do, Vados. Love to see it. So we dodged out there. All right, here comes Tech Kefla. We're going to take the heal. We're going to go into Kefla. We are going to have every link active. So 300 something K defense for STR Kefla. We're going to put Tech Kefla in slot one. Yeah, look at that. We've got all of those great fusion links active. Seven out of seven links. Let's see. I'm trying to set this up so that the orbs will drop and give me a good amount for STR Kefla. 
Yeah, those didn't drop how I wanted them to. That ended up being not great. We still got six orbs, though, which is fine. All right, let's see what Tech Kefla is going to do here. I have to actually go back and read her kit. She's at five mil right here. So hitting about what Tech Khalifla hits, right? That's how old she is. Um, but I think I'll have to double check her kit because I actually didn't read her kit before going back in. And it's been a long time since I've read her. I'll actually look at it right now on my phone. Um, but I think she needs orbs as well, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I mean, she's spitting out a lot of additional. So she still put up like 15 million there, which is what like Kefla, STR Kefla is doing per attack. But like for an old unit, sure. Um, now the super is going to do some damage, right? Let's see what she's taking here. Yeah, 200k, not good. And then yeah, 25 million for uh, STR Kefla right here. We definitely take those. We definitely take those. And then followed up by another 25 mil plus attack. Just wild. And they're max length, yeah, and then a 27. So we just did like 80 million damage right there, like no problem. Are we gonna get the quad? That is the question. Are we going to get the quad? Uh, we did not. So still, I mean, <laughs> she's crazy. All right, let me go here and look at... Um, Look at Tech Kefla really quick here. Let me, I'm going to remind myself what she does. So she recovers the HP. Ah, uh, yep. She needs six orbs to get an additional attack buff. So not a big deal if you don't get the orbs with her. But I do notice on the next turn, I think we do get the orbs. And we do notice a jump in her attack stat. So yeah, you know running them together will be tough because they'll both want orbs and i guess it just depends on how much new stuff they tie to orbs in her easy a kit but if they just tie attack to her then that'll be fine and then you'll just prioritize your orbs with str kefla and then if you have enough to get them with tech kefla too great right but i think if they make tech kefla an orb changer that would be really sweet actually that would be really really sweet All right, so Zamasu uh, just staying invincible. We like that. Going in for 7.6 with STR Kale. Uh, I think I forgot to check her defense late, but usually around like turn seven or so, she's at that like million defense with guard mark, which is pretty dang good. She's tanking pretty much the whole game at that point. And then 6.85. So yeah, this... Uh, that tells you what, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest Kefla, how she's aged because this Tech Khalifa is just doing six and seven mil attack stats. That's like a banner unit that's a quote unquote non DPS character. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. And yeah, we just know we're dodging it all out. That's fine. And 7.3 for AGL Cal. Yeah, so I think we were kind of spoiled last year because the eighth anniversary didn't provide as much power creep as we normally get. So units felt good for a lot longer, but now, like, we're definitely feeling it with ninth anniversary power creep, right? Because units like this Kale, which I don't think she's that old. What is she, less than a year old, I think? And she's feeling pretty weak on her attack stats, right? But when she came out, like, hitting 10, 12 mil shots was, like, super strong. But now we got characters like this STR Kefla. Like, look at the, look at the show STR Kefla is going to put on on this turn. It's going to be quite the show. And even type disadvantage, we put her in slot one because we know she can dodge. We got six or more orbs with both characters. So this will be Tech Kefla's best turn here. Okay, and then let's watch STR. Yeah, 31 million already because of all of the links. She's just like ridiculous. She's a goddess. Look at her go. 30 followed up by a 32. <laughs> So that's 64 million and two attacks. Sure, we'll take it. Gosh, she's strong. 60, <laughs> uh, 70, 80, 90. We're at like 97, 98 million right now with only three attacks done. And then the fourth didn't proc the super. So she was on pace though to have like 130 million damage turn. Absolutely ridiculous. And then Tech Kefla 8.6. I mean, for how old she is, dude, 8.6 is actually pretty dang good because she's got to be, a, what, two years old, two and a half, three years old? I don't know. Time flies. She's an older unit, though. She's been around for a hot minute. 
And to be able to almost touch like 9, 10 million is actually pretty good for her. Uh, and actually there she is, 9.3 with the additional. So she's actually putting up relevant damage for being such an old unit. Um, being linked up on this 200% team with Kefla, it's just defensively, she's going to get annihilated here, right? So 700k, dead, right? And this is actually like not that difficult of a fight. So that's the issue where we know Tech Kefla needs the easy A. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this fun little experiment. I thought STR Kefla just looked insane next to another Kefla unit. Really hoping for a new Dokkan Fest Kefla or an easy A for that Tech Kefla soon. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.